Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at rigid body simulations and slow motion in Blender 8.8 all under 5 minutes. So let's look at what we're going to be doing here. So we have this wrecking ball and uh, it whoosh, crashes into the balls. So we get some slow motion and then uh, we get the release. Shift A to add a plane. Uh, this is going to be our ground. Let me add a cube. Scale it down a bit. Go to the modifiers and add an array increase the count copy this array modifier and then turn on the y axis again on the z axis so i'll copy this array again and then offset this on the z axis only in on the z axis let's add a raking ball so for that we're just going to add a uv sphere that maybe shade it smooth and uh, so for it to have the physics uh, that will enable it to collide into uh, these cubes uh, we are just going to give it a rigid body system so give it a rigid body system i make sure the type is set to active we can gi also give it a bit of weight but for the ground, let's give it a rigid body of type passive. Now, if we play back, you can see that uh, it's just falling down to the ground. Uh, but uh, we want it to swing uh, into this cube. So what, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to use some uh, rigid body constraints. Uh, so we need to add another rigid body object here. So that's also a rigid body and uh, set it to passive. Uh, then we need uh, an empty to connect uh, the two using the constraint. So shift A uh, to add an empty. Uh, this is going to act as the pivot point uh, for this are uh, swinging balls. I go to the physics tab, give it a rigid body constraint, make sure that the type is set to uh, to point, and then from the objects we can select uh, this and this. You can see now how it's being connected, uh, but uh, if we play back, you can see it's swinging using this as, uh, so the rope is a bit too high, so let me just push it a bit, something like that. Great. Cubes are not yet rigid bodies, so let's go do that. Uh, so I said, give them a rigid body ob object. Now if you play back, still going through because our rigid bodies don't recognize modifiers. So we need to make sure that we apply uh, these arrays. So apply, and uh, if we play back, we get something like that. But remember we want every cube to behave as an individual cube. So let's go into pit mode and then select everything. Hit P, uh, separate by loose parts. Now if we play back, we're going to run into a few issues because they all have uh, the pivot point still at the original position. So let's reset the pivot point by right clicking, set origin to geometry. So if we play back now, just go in and just bake everything instead of playing back. So we're done with the bake and I've done a few modifications here. I made this kind of a ramp uh, so that I can capture the uh, blocks that uh, fall onto the side. And uh, make, if you do this, make sure that uh, you go into uh, the rigid body settings and change the collision shape of this object from uh, convex hull to mesh. So let's play back and look at this. This, yeah, we have a good bake. I think everything looks great. So let's just add in uh, the slow motion and see how things uh, look. So the slow motion is the, is the easiest part. So what you have to do for the slow motion, just select everything uh, that you want to have a uh, slow motion. Then go under object, rigid body, bake to keyframes. Uh, this will bake the simulation to keyframes uh, so that you can easily control. So let's bake this. Uh, we want to bake the entire timeline. Uh, so let's click OK. So after you're done with the baking, you should have keyframes for every object that you, that was simulated and uh, you can see what we have. So now what is left, you just have to select all the objects you want to be in slow motion. Just like that and uh, where you want the slow motion to begin so uh, make sure you are seeing these keyframes uh, go to maybe let's start the, the slow motion at around uh, frame 100 okay that doesn't look that interesting around here so around frame 70 78 uh, so we can select all the keyframes before uh, 78 and just push them back so that we have that gap now this gap is just where the slow motion is going to happen. So essentially what we're doing here is just slowing things uh, down here by spreading the keyframes around. So we're just slowing down time here and uh, we are done with the slow motion. So if we play back, you can see that this slow motion starts right exactly where we have that. And uh, depending on how slow you want, to, you want it to be, you can just increase these keyframes but make sure you are selecting all the objects uh, that you want to be in slow motion so that you have access to those keyframes now we just need to slow this even further if you want to so if you play back then you have your slow motion yeah thank you for watching make sure to leave a like subscribe and yep